Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about every trading master was once a disaster. I'm getting a ton of emails from people and they're asking me, uh, you know, how, how do I trade? My buy and sell signals, what do I do? And let me just tell you a real quick story about, you know, I've told you in other videos, I struggled for years. I had some excellent education and I was, I was constantly repeating the same mistakes. I was blowing up, I've blown up a few small accounts. I would, I would consistently be trading and be disciplined uh, and make some money and then I would take a massive, uh, or you know, for my account size, a, too large of a position. I'd, I'd, I'd be hammered right off the bat and then I would hold on to it and go into a hope mode and eventually that would twist my arm back so far that the pain was so great that I'd have to eventually get out and I'd start again and I'd try to build it up and I would build it up again and then I would do the same thing and I would comp I repeated that cycle for years. Your greatest enemy is looking at you right in the mirror and if if you don't understand yet that, that trading is is a game of trapping people and if you're losing money and, you're, and, and you haven't figured it out you need to start printing off some blank charts. If you're doing interday trading you know, I wouldn't be going any shorter than 15 minutes, even an hour. Uh, predominantly, I'm, I'm trading end of day, and every week, every pair, every instrument, somebody gets trapped. And until you see where the trap set, you're probably the person getting trapped. And trading is a game of inches. And if you patiently wait and bide your time, you're going to see the trap. And then you can position yourself with a very limited risk and take that profit usually within the next bar whatever that time frame is but you need to go back and start tracking the market bar by bar it's it's a game of inches but somebody has to get trapped in order for the market to move to the other side to trap profits so if you're not the one who sees the trap you're probably trapped if you're losing money consistently you're either not following your money management rules or your methodology is flawed and I would again go back, print off blank charts and start tracking the market bar by bar until you start to see the patterns of where traders are trapped in at new highs or new lows and the market fails to re reach any new highs after that. Start looking for trapped traders. Um, we'll go through it in some videos. Uh, every, every week it's different but the same mechanism of the game is applied. Somebody has to get trapped in order for the market to move to the other side and hit their stops. That will often trigger new orders and accelerate even further, which is why we see big trends take place. So start tracking this. Remember, every trading master was once a disaster. Anybody who's making money, there's very few people who might have been born into a trading family or had some guru take them under their arm and show them, but that guru would have felt the pain and all the emotional turmoil before they mastered the game themselves. So go back, do your homework, whatever time frame you're trading, get rid of everything off the chart and just print off some blank charts and start looking for these traps. Uh, it's not that hard. What's hard is being patient. What's hard is, actually no, it's, it's not hard. You're making it hard because you're trying to, you're trying to create an outcome rather than just following the trading process. So if you're trying to force a situation, you've got other emotional work you need to do and that's where the mindset comes in. I keep telling you, go get my seven step daily routine for high performance traders. I've had people email me and say, well, what makes you such a guru? I've said it right in every program and every video. I'm giving you some input and some advice. Go and shape it to your own situation. Make yourself a high performance trader. When I played ice hockey, if I went out on the ice and I got the shit kicked out of me by somebody, I didn't go back the next time and try to do the same thing. I either went and talked to the guy who took a round out of me, or I spoke to somebody on the team, and I went back and I did it better next time. If I went in the corner for the puck, I got smarter each time. You got to start learning from all your winners and your losers. And if you can do that, constant progress, not perfection, you're going to improve and that's what trading is all about. It's about constant improvement and if you can cultivate your edge and, and refine your mistakes, start to minimize them and just constantly improve and keep it simple, you have a chance.
Hope you enjoyed the video traders. If you like it, please share it on Facebook. I appreciate the comments, good and bad. It's all great feedback. As I've always said, I'm trying to continuously provide great content. It helps me stay focused. It's hopefully helping you and adding value for you to improve your own trading. Um, this is a winnable game, but you have to keep looking in the mirror and, and constantly learning. Uh, you know, take every advantage you can to improve. Thanks, traders, and may the markets go with you. Hi, traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.